Do you recognize the sound? That's RTTY radio teletype coming from my QDX digital transceiver. Why RTTY? Because that's my second favorite digital mode after the FT8, of course. And QDX digital transceiver is capable of doing RTTY because RTTY or radio teletype is a frequency shift keying mode. It's not that easy. Uh, you can't use the WSGTX program. Uh, for RTTY, you need something else. FL Digi is recognized as one of the most appropriate or most suitable to play with the QDX digital transceiver. It matches pretty well with the, with the QDX transceiver if you know what to do and how to do. If you don't know a few secrets, it might become a pain in the neck. Italian station Italy Kilo 2, Juliet Echo Tango. I decode it. All the RTTY setting procedures are mainly related with the computer itself, its sound system settings and the FL Digi as a software. As it comes to the settings in the transceiver itself, QDX digital transceiver, actually there is none. There is actually one possible setting related with the configuration menu in the transceiver itself, the so-called minimum sample setting but I'll tell about that just, just in a few moments later. My recommendation would be just, first of all, please check if your radio, the QDX digital transceiver, is recognized and really connected to your COM port. Right click on the, on the Windows logo. I'm, I'm having Windows 11 on my laptop here. Uh, go to Device Manager, and when the Device Manager opens, look if you see ports com and lpt if you see this it's it's a good sign it's uh, it, it means uh, there is something connected and recognized by the computer so you double left click on it and you see usb serial device on com 6 on on, on com port 6 in my case in your case could be different so whatever whatever number it is, it, it means it's connected. That's fine. That's a good sign. Being sure that you are connected, you can go now to the sound system of the computer. Right click with the mouse on the tiny speaker icon and then open up the sound settings. It's Windows 11 in my case. Uh, on Windows 10 and other Windows, it could be different systems, but, but things you, you need to look for are the same. So in, in, in the system sound chapter, so to say, uh, you need to choose for the output digital audio interface QDX transceiver or something similar you, you should see with the, with the QDX mentioned in it. It means that the QDX as a sound card is recognized you mark that you're going to use the digital audio interface, which is QDX transceiver, and you make sure that the volume is 100, the maximum volume. I also put uh, the mono audio on, which uh, combine left and right audio channels into one. Then you come to the microphone or the input part. It's the same. You, you have to look for the digital audio interface or the QDX transceiver as, as a input uh, sound card part for the input so we also uh, make a mark the digital audio interface qdx transceiver and you also make sure it's 100 percent the volume is at 100 percent at the maximum because in the qdx digital transceiver all the sound should should be at maximum otherwise not enough of steam going out from your computer into the QDX digital transceiver in order to go transmitting. That's very important. That's it. With this, you can leave the system sound. So then we need to configure the FL Digi part. This is most complicated part, I must confess. But it's manageable. Don't run away. You go to configure tab. You go to configure dialog. It's all usual stuff, you know, station call sign, antenna, whatever. You, you just fill it in and, and forget it. 
The most important thing is uh, rig control. For the rig control you can choose whatever you want. Uh, uh, either you want to, to control your rig straight from FL DJ as I did, or it's just complicated but you may involve the FL rig which gonna be controlled by the FL DJ and the FL rig is gonna control the radio. For me it's easier to control the rig straight from FL DJ. For that you need to use Hamlip. You go to the Hamlip and it opens and here uh, in the rig tab you select the Kenwood TS 440S the QDX transceiver pretends it's a Kenwood TS 440S and it uses all the protocols from this uh, Kenwood very important on the top uh, use Hamlip you have to mark that you're gonna use Hamlip otherwise no, no cat will work so you use Hamlip in the device you find the COM port which you are connected to you check just you, we checked in the beginning so you it's COM6 in my case all the baud rates all are ready made you know all the all the other settings are ready made accordingly to the Canva TS 440S requirements one important thing PTT via Hamlet you have to mark that you're gonna use it and that's it nothing else needed to do you need to press initialize then we go to the sound card this is important in the sound card we go to devices and we go to devices and we look for our device here uh, you need to mark that you're going to use the port audio as long as you tick this then you have to choose in the in in, in the drop uh, drop out menu you have to find and choose the digital audio interface again mentioning QDX transceiver if you find this it's fine it means the FL DJ is connected to the to, to the QDX um, transceiver and FL DJ recognizes the QDX transceiver as a sound card if you don't see in this dropout menu the QDX transceiver as a sound card something wrong try reconnect connect reconnect uh, power on power off the transceiver whatever and until you find the digital audio interface QDX transceiver for capture and the same for the playback so you also have to make sure the QDX transceiver is selected here and that is it so and you safe of course with this actually it is all set except one important thing i am ready now because i know the secret and i done it but if you don't know the secret so it could be that you think you've done everything with the sound card you you found the sound cards you made all the setups you put the hundred volume at, at hundred at all this computer sound system and then you want to try transmitting and you get this nothing you get two blinks you see you get two blinks on qdx transceiver two magic blinks from the magic led indicator indicates one thing it's not enough of steam not enough of signal audio signal from the computer from the fldg program coming into qdx transceiver and it's not enough of steam to make the transceiver go on not enough for ptt in the qdx transceiver no less than 80 percent of power the audio power uh, should be provided for the qdx transceiver from the computer in order to make the transceiver go ptt go go on transmit in the beginning i found myself in kind of a dead end because i've done all the volume at 100 nothing to push up more everything's done and still uh, two blinks no output no transmission that was pretty weird until i discovered one thing 
there's a tiny setting here to, to the left to the AFC button on the right bottom of the FL digit program it's here something written minus three this is minus three dB attenuator for the transmitted signal oh my god we need more signal coming out of the computer and here the FL Digi software offers us minus 3 dB on top of the signal. And of course, probably the audio level from the FL Digi is low enough anyway. And it's attenuated at minus 3 dB more. So that's crazy. The reason for this is because the whole FL Digi program is designed, is constructed, is based on the assumption that we all still use analog SSB filter-based transceivers. And for that, the minus 3 dB attenuation is introduced as a safeguard for you not to overdrive the transceiver and not having a distorted signal. So, but, guys, QDX Digital is absolutely different concept. It's new generation of software-defined radio and with absolutely unique formation of single signal. So there's nothing to filter out. It's just created a single signal on the right side we need. So in order to have power level enough for the QDX coming uh, from the computer, from the FLD software. We need to make zero where minus three put now. So we make zeros here, no minus three dB attenuation anymore. And look, miracle happens. Happy warbling in the control transceiver. Magic LED blinks once as it should be in this in this version of the firmware we have output like five watts and we have a nice signal on the ear voila so this is the most important setting in fl digi and finally i would recommend to save the zero setting otherwise next time you switch the fl digi on again you'll find the minus 3 dB again in this window. In order to save the setting, we need to go to the configure tab, open the configure dialog box up to scroll down until the miscellaneous tab, open it up, scroll down until the save parameters and here tick the window transmit lever control press save and that's it the zero db attenuation will stay at all times until you change it and save again with no attenuation of the signal coming out from the fl digit to the radio the internal setting at 80 percent in, in qdx uh, configuration menu is enough it means the signal coming out from the fl digit is more than 80 percent which means is enough, the transceiver goes transmit easily and nicely. Greek station SV1JDZ comes in pretty strong. Let's call twice. Oh yes. The answer is me.
I got a contact on 20 meters with Greek station, Sugar Victor 1, J Julia Delta Zulu. First RTTY QSO with QDX digital transceiver through the FL Digi software. Yeah, the RTTY monitoring signal comes not from the QDX transceiver or, or, or from my computer. It comes from my ICOM IC7300 transceiver, which I'm using just as a monitoring station. Uh, so uh, I'm transmitting from the QDX uh, into the antenna. Uh, ICOM is not connected to any antenna, so it's just receiving ki kind of a leaked signal, a received signal just from the cable. QDX digital itself does not provide the monitoring uh, possibility. So it's, it's not simply not, not designed for that cause in FT8 mode, you don't need you know, to listen to your signal. I mean, there's no, no technical need for that. So far I've been decoding and sending RTTY signal from my QDX a transceiver uh, with the settings uh, in configuration menu of the transceiver as they are originally for the WSGTX or for the FT8 mode. So, and uh, I mean the minimum, uh, the minimum samples menu, it's 480 normally. So far I can't tell the difference between this set of 480 and uh, the setting of one, uh, because I've read somewhere in the groups that you need to change minimum samples to one in order to better work on RTTY. So let's change it to one and see, will, will there be any difference? Okay, let's try to call CQ. The same around four to five watts output, the same decoding level and the same decoded quality on my ICOM IC7300. So, and this is now with the minimum sample set to one. I don't see the difference or I don't understand the difference, guys. So if you can explain this, please leave a comment in the comment section. So that's, that's the most important settings to know in order to successfully have RTTY from FLDG nicely working together with the QDX digital transceiver. It's not the best RTTY setup, I guess, because, you know, QDX digital transceiver has got no narrow filtering. It's not, not designed for, for, for anything, you know, narrow band. It's just designed to capture all the passband of 3 kilohertz and, you know, to have there all the FT8 and FT4 signals. In RTTY world, it's a narrow band mode. It's very nice when you can have a VFO tuning and you have narrow band filtering like 250 hertz is the classical filter for RTTY and you can you know filter out your signal uh, and, and receive only this this particular station with this RTTY signal imagine if there if, if there were a RTTY contest going on I'm sure there would be plenty of RTTY station here like signal 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 and then it would be a little bit complicated, you know, to receive them all at one three kilohertz wide filter. Clearly, QDX Digital and FLDG can work together, but clearly it's not a perfect, so to say, RTTY setup. As an experiment, as a, you know, making one or two or three occasional contacts in RTTY when you get bored uh, by FT8, so then that was my goal. I wanted to try it. I did. It works and I'm very happy. And even more happy, I share it with you. So guys, please leave your comments uh, and uh, share your opinion about the RTTY and FL Digit QDX digital transceiver. Do you like it? Do you work with it? And anyway, so please leave your comments. Please consider subscribing if you like these videos and like what I'm doing. And with this set, one more thing as usual, peace and victory for Ukraine. Thanks for watching. See you in my next videos. 73, this is Linus, Limoyanki 2 Hotel.